airlines i haven't even flown on you in years so but i'm i'm, I'm endorsing you wow because all of my friends have endorsed you that's big time yeah you heard it first and just real fast you see a box on his face uh i do okay we're good it's right on his eye he looks like terminator that's perfect <laughs> that's exactly where i wanted it right on his eye okay so what i'm trying to tell you american airlines is you screwed up and our now relationship you- is in peril. You're was, never getting a Donnie on your plane ever again. <laughs> I'm going to end up guitar. having to fly America like a lot <laughs> and then just be mad about it. Did um, they actually damage it? or? Well, so no, but I will tell you that the high the high degree of like pressure and temperature changes that it's happened. Not great. Yeah. Oh, not good. I got my instrument. base back out and it was, con- it was condensation all oh, over Jesus. it and the neck had bent. You know, in a way that's bendable back, right. like it had. You can you can flex a guitar neck if it has a truss rod, but I uh, would have preferred to not have right. to yeah. have been working on my instrument once right. I got you know off the plane. So, anyways, American, uh, you can you can send me a DM. I tagged you in Facebook. You guys are mean. <laughs> you tagged them in Facebook? Oh, yeah. I was like, <laughs> Americans <laughs> mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wasn't like rude about it, but I was like, it was it was not as bad. Like, I'm not actually as concerned with whether or not my instrument ended up under the cat, under or over, because I, I, I knew how to take care of the instrument. I took the strings, loosened them off, and treated the instrument as well as I could. I mean, they ship guitars all Globally. the time. Yeah, all yeah. the time. They ship them on planes, I'm sure. You know, they don't just... How do you get them from Germany to America? You don't do it on a boat, probably. But in this case, uh, they were just so rude to me at gate check. Yeah, that's like what sucks. Three out of four times. It's just like they have no. There's like no. Mm-mm. Yeah, and one guy told me like right to my face. He's like, "That's not gonna fit," and I was like. I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that to him? <laughs> no. <laughs> he said a, he I said, said actually, <laughs> I happen to know mine's pretty small and that it will fit. <laughs> and uh, and he's like, no, it won't. And I'm like, yeah, it will. Yeah. And, and then the lady who tagged my instrument was like, uh-uh. You tagged it already. You're putting it under the plane, sir. And I'm like, I know it'll fit. <laughs> I've done this before. Yeah. And so anyways, I got off that plane and went out of the, like literally I got out the gate and the gate that I, my next flight was, was that gate. Oh, seriously? Because it was the same plane. So that crew left and the next crew came on and I said, hey, can I try to spit this in the overhead? And they were like, for sure, Mr. Fight. Whoop. And it fit. Nice. nice. And I was like, I told you it'd fit. It's <laughs> small. It. It's small. <laughs> I'm used to it. So anyways, American, I have a small one. And <laughs> there you go. And I know it fits. <laughs> I know it fits. How's your week? Pretty uneventful. I mean, besides yep. Easter. It's yep. Pretty uneventful over here, too. Yeah. Basically did uh, Easter egg hunts. Went and celebrated Rick graduating yeah. mm-hmm. at Sharky's on yeah. Saturday. That was fun. And that's about it. My kids got like probably five pounds worth of candy. Nice. That we have to At const- Easter. Yeah. We have to constantly be like, no, you can't have candy right yep. now. Cause mm. Do you guys keep all the candy or do you throw some of it out? Uh, I mean, we. it's weird. We'll like, it'll sit there for like a year yeah. hidden and then we're like, this is not good anymore. So yep. then we throw it out. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. We just yeah. start with throwing it out. That's and just probably keep what we some should do. Mm. Serena likes to stash some of it in her yeah. desk while she's working. So, so what you guys are openly admitting to is that this thing that we do on Easter, where we buy loads of candy mm-hmm. and we put it places, and the kids go and find it. We're simply taking our money and might as well just go throw it in the paper shredder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yes. that's what you're. Telling but I mean, me. we're paying for the experience. The for experience the kids. is great. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oliver literally said this week, this is the best Easter ever. Yeah. So, that was worth it. <laughs> Lauren did a pretty good job for a wallet, you know? Like, it, we, she did everything at Dollar Tree. Yeah. There's so, it was like 15 bucks for all of it. That's good. Which is We did at my mom's crazy. just all money, like quarters and stuff. Yep. And... The kids, like, I mean, my son was just like, oh, I can't eat this. Where's the candy? <laughs> <laughs> but all the older kids were like, yeah, yes. V-Bucks. <laughs> V-Bucks? Oh, yeah. they, for Fortnite. Yeah. Oh, Fortnite. my God. Uh, my parents, so they do a Easter egg hunt for all the, all the kids, all the grandkids. And then they do an Easter egg hunt for all the uh, adults 
like not not adults their age, but like all the kid adults. Like yeah, me. they put like five hundred dollars in an egg they, or something. So they literally. <laughs> so there was seven of us. Yeah. So they put a hundred dollars for each person worth in the eggs you won't actually get a hundred dollars it's like mixed up it's like 20 here yeah. one here five here ten there or whatever yeah. and uh, your goal is to try to get your hundred dollars or and more somebody yeah, else's yeah, money. Money. yeah <laughs> for sure I could, yeah. I could see it getting physical <laughs> anytime <laughs> anytime that you know that you have more than 100 bucks you know it came from one of your siblings <laughs> yeah. exactly that's and that exactly, makes it way that's better exactly how it is. I bet at the end, you're, just you're limited it. On the amount of eggs you can you can find, so everybody had to find fifteen, and then you're done. Oh, okay. And then oh, so it's like just a mix them up, gamble off. Yep, oh, yep. Wow. I like it. And uh, I've never broken a hundred dollars. Somebody's always gotten some of my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you know, you know what's better? Okay, it's not better. This is a bad idea. But it would be funnier for me to watch is yep. if you had to put your own hundred dollars into oh, the God. pot, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody put their own hundred in. <laughs> And then we it, could do it, like it, a friend it, Easter egg hunt yeah, at some yeah. point. And do <laughs> and then that. like in odd denominations, <laughs> so that way that will definitely happen, and someone will leave with more, and someone will leave with a lot you'd less. You have to have like that's a, just poker night. Yeah, you just Pretty you'd much. have to have a third party put the money in the eggs because if you if you fill your own eggs full of money, you're gonna know which ones you're looking for. Right. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Which is why I volunteer to be the referee. Oh, you don't want to put up a hundred dollars? No, I just think it'd be funny to watch all of my friends go <laughs> zero sum game on each other. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> over a hundred bucks. We all put a hundred dollars in, in eggs uh, and try to make like five bucks. Essentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then someone's like, "I got eight hundred dollars," and then that guy's like paying me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I told him where all the ones with twenties were. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be funny to me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it would. Be bad for you. Yep. Um, <laughs> I'm going to grab one of these cards. I found a, a, a lot of good ones, and so I'm excited to get into them. Okay. Let's see it. All right. First one from Hot Takes. It's a game that's going to be well, our future, Don't advertise for the future sponsor of the show. Um, <laughs> here's the first one. Peeing in pools is gross. Mm. It is. I mean, it is gross, but, but I do it. <laughs> 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 I don't think there's a pool I haven't peed in that I mean, I've been yeah. in. Yeah, I mean, honestly, oh my god, I do peeing too. in pools is gross, but you have to admit that it's convenient. There's a certain percentage of piss in every public <laughs> yeah, pool the, that you're just admitting that you're going to be swimming in. <laughs> yeah, yes, it's the yes. social contract contract of pools. Is yeah, yes. like we know that yeah. the piss I'm swimming in. Yes, we see that the the water is blue. Yeah, yeah. but most of what's in there. It's just everybody. Do they ever piss. put a chemical in the water that turns your piss like purple? No, that's I, just a. That would yeah, be just like so a movie funny. Thing. I that would be that's so a, funny to be. me because then it would only take one summer. They for, used to freak me out as a kid every time. I'd be like, yeah. so I'd start peeing and then look down. Like, <laughs> yeah, I okay, there's no. <laughs> is this one of those pools yeah. that turns your pee purple? <laughs> Guess I'm gonna find out. Well, I bet there's there's something that does. I bet there's a way to do it. And that they know that it would just upset society so oh, yeah. much. <laughs> if you did that, the whole pool would be purple. Yeah. And then, it would just and then be I a guess purple it's back pool. to normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> back to normal. No well, more Think about pool. like a swim up bar. People sit there for hours drinking yeah. and nobody's getting Oh, yeah. Up. A- absolutely. You go to like an all inclusive yeah. resort, you're mm-hmm. sitting there drinking cocktail after cocktail. You're for sure just <laughs> pissing them. Just oh, pissing yeah. Past your- you know the whole times? bar probably is more piss than water. Right <laughs> oh there. Yeah. my god! Oh, that's so funny, man. That is so gross and funny. Like, that's disgusting. <laughs> it is disgusting. They're but like the bathrooms over there. That's too far away. What about, sir? <laughs> sir, what drink is? How many is this? Many the bathroom is, is over there. <laughs> How have you not? You peed can't yet? drink. Oh, I've peed. Yeah. Fifteen beers, Shane Gillis, and not right be now. in the pool and be in the pool I'm this peeing. whole time. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd root for this one uh, <laughs> this second. <laughs> you just, th- then you just splash water in their face. <laughs> yeah, just, so uh, the bathroom's over there. Uh, no, uh, it's right it's here. here. It's Enjoy. right here, and now right it's here. on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God, pissing in the pool. Ugh. Have you guys ever pooped in a body of water? Like mm. submerged. <laughs> no, no, I, I have not. Have but. That sounds like a weird. That's like that's like opening the airlock. Yeah, the too. wrong way. Like I don't. 
I don't, for something to get it out, something else is probably get in. Oh, for I sure. Don't right? That. Yeah, that's yeah, that's. I mean, that's how they do it in Survivor. I did install a bidet recently. Yeah. And, and if you turn it on too hard, bidet. you're gay. Hey, it cleans it out though. You're like, Ooh. cleans it out real nice. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Do you, the, does the, yours the, have hot water? Oh yeah. yeah it, the the worst must. part was setting the temperature. Yeah. At first, I was like, ah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, just got adjusted. All right. No, yeah. I mean, I used one uh, at my brother's house, and I didn't. I've never used one before, uh-huh. and so I was like, you know, ready to clean up. I pressed it, and Take it, it just was like, yeah. Was like, oh God! Yeah. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Taking a dinner first. <laughs> 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 uh. My goodness. But but yeah, the whole, the whole taking a dump in a body of water. <laughs> they, that's how they do it on Survivor. Actually, that's I, I've wanted. I want to go on that show. Well, that's eventually. what they do on Survivor. Yeah, I want to go on that show eventually. And like my my two biggest things, and I'm like, I'm not too sure about that. Is pooping in water, and then also I'm a ginger being yeah, in the sun all you'd day. You'd be fucked. Yeah, yeah. But they'll just bad at it. Just learn to make like a hat out of palm fronds, and you're good. Yeah, no, I'll just I'll just. Walk around in like a, a rain a suit. A ghillie suit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that way I'll be fine. Where's Jared? I'm right here. <laughs> I'm right here. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. Just, like, just walk around in camouflage. <laughs> the kind of parasites and stuff I'd be afraid of. And then like, I bet if you take a dump out in the wrong body of water, the fish are like, yum. Mm. yum. So you're just like surrounded Ooh, by... food. A buffet. Yeah. And then you Ugh. capture that fish that just ate your shit. And, <laughs> and then you're yeah. like, should I eat it? Should I eat it? I'm literally starving. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> so I'm just going to look past that. It's kind of like when you eat lobster. Do you eat guys? Mm-hmm. And oh, the God. Little, the little yeah, green I thing? do think it's absolutely like filthy eating some shellfish. I'm like, oh, this thing. Yeah. You know, the lobster tail. Yeah. I the mean, big you've seen that. Shoot. And you've seen the green stuff and you just wipe it off and then you're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's clean. It's yeah, clean. I know what that is. No, I'm, I'm gonna fine. eat this yeah. anyway. Yeah, just dick, dump it in butter. Just stick it. Yeah. Just, just, you know, butter just dunk it sterilizes in fish, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's just like peeing in a pool. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you just don't think about it. Put it in your mouth. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Put it in your mouth. I, don't, don't think about it. it. Put it in your mouth. Have you guys ever eaten crawfish? Yeah, I've never done like the suck oh, dude, the head. Oh, that's. I I, can't I, do, I do think that's genuinely nasty. I like a crawfish boil. It's yeah. delicious, but like. I'm in it for like the sausage and the potatoes right. and the corn. The corn. I like, like mm-hmm. the actual the little critters that eat the shit off the bottom. And then we're like, oh, you're, you look really you delicious look today. Delicious. You like, know what? No, I want to eat your whole digestive tract. That's those things are like yeah. chock mm-hmm. full of shit, too. Where's Just the bottle? Like, Can I lick the little bottle? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we're doing. <laughs> that's like literally, yeah, that's literally what he's got going on. Yeah. He's like, my buffest muscle is my ass. <laughs> and then you're like, it's the most delicious part of me. And then you, I guess I'm going to eat this little creature's ass. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just, well, that's what a crawfish boil is. Uh-huh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Yeah, we always eat lobster when we go to Boston to visit Lauren's parents. And it's good. But Okay, uh, also, okay, just I'm not, I'm not over this yet. They look like little, like, fucking, sorry, pardon me. <laughs> they look like... Like like cockroaches yeah. underwater. Yeah, they're like absolutely the nastiest things. It does not surprise me at all that 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 Jewish folks are like we don't eat that, right? And not because they're Jewish. They're just like that. What do you look? It looks like a bug. Right. It is a bug, an underwater bug, and it you're gonna eat its poop. Yep. I mean, lobster like, used to be the poor man's Gentiles. food. So. That's what they <laughs> a poor man's food. Uh huh. Yeah, because of what it was easy just to a, find. Yeah, put a. Cra- a cage out there and then don't have to do anything go get it you mm. got some dinner nice yeah I now mean, it's I get a it. luxury yeah yeah because we know how to clean them i just don't think they get clean like they should get clean like I mean, for me if i had a bunch of crawfish i'd be like you guys okay i caught you all in this cage sorry we're gonna do this but we're gonna move you to another tank and the tanks gonna have clean water and then you're gonna stay here for a week until you've all shit everything out and then we're gonna move you to another tank and leave you in there for a week just to make sure just to make sure. And then we're going to put you in another tank. And then tank, I'm going to boil you. And it's going to be you. boiling yeah. hot. I am going to boil all of you to death. And you're like, do you, like, with the, with the little guys, do you kill them some way humanely first? You're just like, no, no, guys, like, get in. It's just another, it's just another I tank. I mean, they, they, they cook it in front of you. Like, like, it's, just, like it's just alive. No, they're not doing this because oh. their claws are shut. Oh. They're just like, okay, well, oh. nice <laughs> knowing you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, we got to think. That's crazy. That's literally crazy to me. Yeah. 
Pretty crazy. All right, next one. Okay. Nickelodeon is better than Disney Channel. After that documentary I saw Oh, yeah, recently, I was going to ask you guys right, about that. That's why that's, I grabbed that, that card. Oh, have, you both, have you both watched it? I've gotten about watched, halfway through it. Yeah, but. I watched about half of it, and I was like, I've seen enough. Yeah. I get it. Did you get to the Drake Bell part? No. I don't think so. Oh, wow. You didn't, you, you didn't get to the, like, the, most, the spiciest part. What happened? Uh, I mean, what, just make an assumption. That's what happened. Oh, my God. Drake Bell, yeah. The Had, homie who was like running all the shows. Uh, uh, Drake Bell. He was in. He was Drake and Josh. Oh, that guy. But he wasn't. He wasn't doing it. He no. was getting it done yes, too. Yes. Yes. Uh, mm. Yeah. It's crazy. Crazy documentary. Um, uh, I think now, personally, like my kids will watch Disney a hundred times over anything on Nickelodeon. Do they? Do you actually have cable still? No, I mean we have Paramount, which has a lot of Nickelodeon right. shows mm-hmm. on it. So it's like they're streaming Disney. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's crazy. What a different time now. Whenever we were kids, it's like literally it was Nickelodeon or Disney Channel, and you just had to hope that your show right. was on. Now it's mm-hmm. just you know. You Back can in watch the day, it. though, I was Nickelodeon pretty hard. Well, my name is Nick. I also had a phone in my room that when the someone called to go Nick, 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 <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Nickelodeon. I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> That's kind of funny. (laughs) Man, I do think that there should be... I do love... We had just the right amount of these really cool things that were really fun. Mm -hmm. And also, not only did we have the right amount, we had uh, a scarcity of it. So we appreciated, even if it wasn't like the best version of what that thing was, we really appreciated being around it. Right. So there was this... I think we had the perfect balance of whatever it is. Uh, sorry, our, our our relationship to the technology. Right now, it's just like, do you want to watch Nickelodeon's whatever? Well, you can watch all forty five right. years yeah. of it or whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know, or yeah. however long it's been around. You can watch all thirty years of, you know, the Kids Choice Awards or whatever that exists now. Yeah, and yeah. you can just sit there and just watch the whole thing or like, like every this episode never of SpongeBob. Anymore. Like me, me and my siblings, whenever we turn on the TV. He'd be like, oh, SpongeBob is on. Yeah. Come watch SpongeBob. That moment doesn't happen anymore because they just, you know, go turn on SpongeBob. Yeah. It's and like watch all of it. Kids today would be blown away that you had to wait. Be like, yeah. Okay, well, next week at six o'clock, Angry Beavers is coming on. Yep. So, oh my God, Angry Beavers. And the amount of innuendo in our shows oh, back then was oh, my, already Yeah, intense. I didn't even notice. But they, I mean, that, Angry doc- Beavers that documentary was a thing. pointed Ren, Ren it out. Ren and Stimpy was just. Oh, Ren and Stimpy was out. Just out of control. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even like cat dog. I thought cat dog yeah. was so screwy. My mom I was like, wait, this cat is half dog, half cat, and they don't have... Wait, there's... They, what what how happens? Does this work? Where, <laughs> where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Which one? Where's their butthole? Oh, yeah. Maybe they trade off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I mean, it's the only Cat logical. Dog, listen, yeah. It's the only thing that makes sense. Listen, you're barfing today. Yeah. I'm eating. Yeah. You know? Oh, no. Only thing that makes sense. God, it's so weird. And I didn't like Courage the Cowardly Dog either. I know people loved those shows, but man, I that just thought That was just they like so a little weird. after me, like where I was like, oh, I'm too cool for cartoons now. Uh, just right I'll at tell the you cusp. what I did love. It's Cartoon Network, Johnny oh, yeah. Bravo. Dude, oh, Johnny that Bravo. Show. That was great. the fun. It's funnier as an adult. Yeah. It would never get made today. Oh, my gosh. Because he was a lot, there's got to be a lot of into windows in that. They were, they were very obvious and oh, they yeah. were very like, like Johnny Bravo was much like Rick Sanchez is in uh, Rick and Morty. Right. He's like an ant. You're not supposed to want to be like him. And that's why it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> was that an adult cartoon? Johnny no, Bravo? it wasn't. But it was really because I, I definitely remember there him, were like, like jokes where Johnny Bravo was like, things. "Who gave you the right to vote?" Right. <laughs> you know, and then, <laughs> yeah. like the women beat him up. Just like, like, like oh it's my like goodness. really bad, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> oh, it's like so so bad. He's like just this machismo, like sexist like, <laughs> guy. It's I. And then I thought. Ugh. I don't know if I, I should endorse it, but it, it certainly made me laugh recently when I was like, what is Johnny Bravo doing? You know, oh my God. Oh my God. That's what a, he was doing? Dude, wow. That was terrible. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> 90s was a different time. Yeah. For sure. But it wasn't, they weren't, they weren't espousing those values and saying they're good. They were putting those anti-values into a character and then dunking on him constantly right. for being stupid. So, I don't know. 
I don't know. Take that however which way you want. But they'd still say whatever was like uh, like today. You're just like like you can't put that on TV, right? But they. <laughs> Do you, okay, so do you remember the Szechuan sauce thing yes. with McDonald's yeah. where they've recent, they released it for just a little bit and then every one of those really dumb Rick and Morty fans went stupid nuts for it? Yeah. So, like, I love Rick and Morty. I think Rick mm-hmm. and Morty is hilarious. Same. But did you... Um, what do you think of that? Do that th- honestly, like, turned me off of liking. Like, I still like it. Yeah. But, like, now I'm not vocal about it. I'm like, I am yeah. not, a sh- like, wait in line for Szechuan sauce. <laughs> yeah. Rick and Morty fan. Right. Yeah. I, I never did either. I never, like, was, like, interested enough to go figure out the Mulan Szechuan right. sauce. But, like, <laughs> but is the art good because it caused that reaction? Oh, yeah. I mean, if it's that big of a phenomenon with it they're clearly doing something right but i think the fandom got a little out of control personally mm. when did that happen how long ago was that this like 2016 or, or something yeah. like that it was oh, long okay. enough ago that the mcdonald's employees were like stop yeah <laughs> stop <laughs> coming in and wrecking mcdonald's over like the one szechuan person sauce. traded a packet of szechuan sauce for a car what what <laughs> yeah. oh my goodness yeah yeah because uh, well here's this was is, in this sauce? The reason why I Gold? ask about it is... No, 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 no. It was because Rick Sanchez was like, I have to go back in time to get the 1998 Mulan's Szechuan sauce from McDonald's. It's the best sauce. You know, <laughs> like, he, like he's Rick Sanchez, so he goes to the one part of the... All right, I'm, I'm going to get this all wrong. Some Rick and Morty fans can right. be like... Yeah. Actually. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> but like, yeah, anyways, he goes and he gets this sauce and it's this big deal. And like, so everyone's freaking out about the sauce. McDonald's seizes an opportunity and briefly releases the sauce again, just for a little while. Like, mm-hmm. hey, we got the yeah, Szechuan sauce. Yeah, release. Here's yeah. the sauce. And so all the Rick and Morty fans freaked out. Now, here's the problem is that Rick is an anti-hero. He is what you shouldn't want to be, but he's also the funniest character. He's also the, the all-powerful. Like, he's, he's cool. Yeah. Right. Unfortunately, Rick Sanchez is so cool. So... These people wish they were like Rick Sanchez, and like these people who like Rick Sanchez the most go to McDonald's and treat the employees like absolute shit, trying to get oh, the sauce. Oh, I, I see. Yeah. Right, yeah. and so the employees are like, "Jeez, Louise, yeah. I wish we never got so many the Ricks session. here." Yeah, yeah ever, just a bunch of Ricks instead of there was not bunch Mortys, of Rick they were here. not Summers, they were Ricks. You know, you're supposed to want to. You're supposed to want to be like Morty and you're supposed to want to be like Morty when Morty realizes he doesn't need Rick. Yeah. Mm. That's like, that's the story. And we're all waiting to see if Morty ever wises up that he, that even though his grandpa is awesome and all powerful and funny and cool, that he's also controlling and manipulative and an alcoholic (laughs) and a piece of shit. And so like, (laughs) but it is a good one. Yeah. 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 It's a good one. Like that sounds entertaining. That is actually the arc of Rick and Morty that we haven't seen yet is what is Morty without Rick. And then like, we find out there's an evil Morty Mm -hmm. that's happening. There's an evil Morty that is finally rejected Rick and he's in another dimension. Like, you know, and Rick is dealing with the existence of evil Morty. So it's like, there's a lot of, I don't know. There's a lot of uh, interesting, really interesting things about the show that aren't just funny. Right. You know. I want some of that sauce. <laughs> How much I are bet, you willing I to bet pay you, for I bet you sauce. can look it up right now. I bet you can get some. <laughs> yeah. I bet you can get some if you wanted it. Um, okay. I don't know if we've asked uh, Nick this question, so I, I grabbed this card. Aliens exist. Is that? That's the card. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's I a mean, hot take. What is your opinion? Probably. Probably. Do you think more likely yes than no? Yeah, I mean the universe is infinitely large, so right. there's an infinite chance for life to exist somewhere. Yeah. I think the aliens are going to come down and they're going to be fr- crawfishes and they're going to be like, "Stop sucking on our assholes. <laughs> we left these Stop children here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why, why are you eating us ass first? <laughs> we made them to clean up the crap, not yeah. so you'd eat it. It's yeah. disgusting. You're eating our poo poo shoots. <laughs> 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 and like. <laughs> or they're going to be chickens, and they're going to be like, "What the? Yeah. Fuck? <laughs> you know, you know, they're going to be like really upset. Look, you have chicken Auschwitzes everywhere, and Chick Fil A's yeah. are going to just get zinged by like the chicken walkers. <laughs> I mean, way to get humanity uh, t- 
together for once is when they start taking out our fast food chicken. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we're going to fry these. <laughs> and then, was, like, F-18s was, are, like, <laughs> shooting giant uh, chickens. Yeah. The tanks are, like, fire. Guess what now is the most ordered sandwich in America? The Chick-fil-A sandwich or the Popeye's chicken sandwich, one of the two. It is the Chick-fil-A sandwich. That's pretty which good. Let's I go thought, get some right now after this. Which is crazy because I, I thought for sure it'd be McDonald's. Did well, you know that... It, Chick-fil-A it, now has a number you one You might spot. have to pause it right here. Did you know oh that... <laughs> I won't say I it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to say it? Sure, whatever. Yeah, every time that you uh, eat a Chick-fil-A uh, original recipe chicken sandwich, they abort a gay baby. Jesus oh my Christ. God. I wish you hadn't said <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, I know what my answer is next time I get that question. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> Abort saying it. <laughs> Don't do it. God. <laughs> See, the, the, the reason why that joke is funny, even though Jared will cut it out, the reason why that joke is funny is because evangelicals hate abortion, but they also hate gays. So it's a, it's a catch twenty two for yeah. the evangel- evangelical for Christians. This. They could just Super wait till they're people. older and then shock their brains to shock the gay away. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work. Uh, not that one. Uh, I'd rather kill my landlord than my boss. But I don't think anybody has a landlord. Oh, I still rent, but. You guys don't have landlords. Hmm. So I'm going to skip that one. I don't have a landlord. Kill Lucky. myself or my dad. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if any of my tenants would want to kill me. Probably. Hmm. How many tenants do you have? Oh, just one now. Oh, yeah, just one. But, like, I am a landlord. You are a landlord, and how do you treat your tenants? I gave him super cheap rent. So, nice. like, I feel like he's probably, like... And I clean the house most of the time. Hmm. So, like, he should be like, this is a really nice hotel. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm in a hotel in Rust, and yeah. my tenants tried to kill me several times. <laughs> <laughs> Just set up a shotgun trap where you don't want to. There you go. There you go. The, Rust, <laughs> the Rust Hotel. I want to be a part of this so bad. <laughs> I'm, like, willing to go get a computer to play whatever version of Rust it is that you're playing where you start a hotel. <laughs> and I want to be, like a, like, a butler. Yeah. Like... Dunk, dunk, dunk. I'm here to change the sheets. <laughs> Does your hotel have any signage or is it just a... Yeah, it had okay. a, it had a, I put a, a, a sign on top of this build, video game building that said hotel. Nice. People would knock on the door all the time. <laughs> is there any rooms left? <laughs> <laughs> Legitimate. Is there a way to hook up like a vacancy sign? Like turn it yeah, on or uh, off? Yeah, I mean... Uh, is there an in-game currency that you could... Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, there's scrap. It's the in-game currency. Oh, that's great. Um, you can charge and, them. Uh, there is, I don't think there's a no vacancy sign, but I mean, you can just make us two different signs. One says vacant, one says... You should uh, find a way to expand it and make like a fighting pit and have gambling. I thought about that today. <laughs> I was like, maybe the next time I play Rust, I'm going to make the arena yeah, <laughs> and have all go. the new people come in and be like, all right, if we got win. this gun. <laughs> <laughs> you two get in there. Whoever lives gets the gun. <laughs> oh my gosh. God, that you, can, you can earn a free stay in the hotel. By participating in the pit, yeah. <laughs> by participating in the pit, so like and they have all the have stuff any money you have that to you fight need to, stay to make there. a really sweet arena. You could make like it, your own micro economy with people like f- capturing newbies and just being yep. like, "Go, okay, yeah. where's my commission?" <laughs> yeah. Legitimately, you can. Oh, that, that's that game's funny. Amazing. Okay, we have to play this game. <laughs> I'd love to. I want to build an arena and I want to put a knife in the middle of it and be like, okay, two guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> two knives. So they both go grab their knives. No, no, there's only one. one. That so guy's the first guy gets it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> no. I don't know. Maybe you put two in there. Yeah, you just, yeah, you try all sorts of stuff. Yeah. I just wouldn't want to give him a gun. I don't want to be the only guy with a gun. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to give him a gun. Melee they'll, yeah. only. They'll overtake you. Yeah. Probably, especially because, I mean, I'm not that great. Congratulations. That you have murdered someone and you get a free stay, <laughs> inclusive <laughs> in, in our hotel. Exclusive stay at the Rust Hotel <laughs> where your neighbors try to kill you and take your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the wall of champions. <laughs> the yeah. wall of the wall of failures. Just yeah. the scrolls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god uh, whoever doesn't if someone's listening to this and doesn't know what rust is they're gonna be very confused yeah, yeah. Like, what is this it's, game it's a, they're playing it's a game where there's a lot of just a lot that you can do <laughs> all right would you get plastic surgery on what i don't know pick something there's a joke my dad told me is it a one that you're gonna have to go pause no and, and say jared do you <laughs> want me to say this <laughs> Because I'm gonna go at uh, no. Would you get plastic it's, surgery? Yeah, I can't already. I mean, my probably dad not, it. unless I like got disfigured. I'll or tell something. you what yeah, I would pl- get is yeah. some hair plugs. I'm starting to lose my hair on the back. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Hair transplant. Yeah. I'm fine with yeah. that. I hope I they take it off. I thought like, they take it off my 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 ass. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I don't need Donnie that. Donnie always smells like crap. I don't. I don't need that hair anymore. <laughs> Just hair blowing in the wind. God, it smells like ass. Oh, what, is that? <laughs> what cologne are you using? <laughs> oh, God. Where did you get those? Where did you get Why are they those? extra curly on the top? Uh, I would never get like uh, like Botox or anything like that. Yeah. In the first place, I don't like the way it looks on anybody for the most yeah, part. Yeah, they don't ever get it right. It's never so. right. And then also, it looks a little extra weird on guys. Mm. Like, uh, yeah, just like, have you seen? <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having such a good time right now. <laughs> you look like a Tesla truck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that Tim Allen uh, scene in, uh, what's it called? Meet the Cranks or something? Not Meet mm. the Cranks. Christmas with the Cranks. He got Botox and all his food falling out of his mouth. Uh, I think you'd look good with some lip fillers, though. Just really just duck it out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> my, my wife's really... <laughs> uh, my wife. Nick said I should get <laughs> lip filler. <laughs> As you look. As I'm just dying laughing behind <laughs> you. <laughs> I can't believe he did it. <laughs> he looks ridiculous. <laughs> you look so down in a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> it's really swollen right now, I swear. <laughs> I can't tell if it's swollen or if this is what I paid for. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Come over here, give me a kiss, honey. <laughs> Gender reveal parties are dumb. Yes. What do you think? Hmm. Nick. Because you have a whole kids. party for that. I mean, if it's like we did ours, it was like a dinner. So, yeah, bro. What if we did a gender reveal party, but it was like you tell people what your gender is? <laughs> what? Oh, you mean I'm non binary? <laughs> Surprise, <laughs> here's my pee pee. <laughs> oh Just, my God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have revealed my gender. <laughs> no. <laughs> Donnie's having a gender reveal party, <laughs> but he doesn't have a kid on the way. Just comes he out, just has Winnie the Pooh, like shirt on, he no pants. It's a Donald Duck yeah. situation. <laughs> you, you walk into the room and you and you lift your your blouse like they do in Braveheart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and blue shoots up, boom, blue smoke everywhere. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> no, everybody shows up like I didn't know that he was gonna have a baby, and then yeah, he know. just comes out. Just be- <laughs> <laughs> I'm a boy. <laughs> That's I'm a man. <laughs> we all knew that. I'm male. Now you really know. <laughs> now you know for sure. And it's really small, <laughs> but it's there. But it's there. It's like a. Oh my god. <laughs> That'd be a good skit, honestly. <laughs> it's like an acorn and two raisins. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> you actually didn't reveal anything. I can't see it. <laughs> Get out the telescope. Look, it's there. I promise. It's there, I promise. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I saw this video where this uh, they gave... this. These parents gave their kid scissors yeah so that she could pop the balloon so yeah. everyone can find out yeah. but what she ended up doing was just cutting the strings <laughs> and the just balloon flew just away. Away. <laughs> nobody knew there we go <laughs> guess we don't know well <laughs> that's ruined <laughs> uh, i guess we're gonna have to do a uh 
actual gender reveal. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, when you send me an invitation to your gender reveal party. Don't expect I don't, me. I don't think I'm going to be there. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'm coming. That's a bad deal. <laughs> Babe, you want to go to Donnie's gender reveal party? <laughs> no. We know what and it I know is. you don't. No. You know what he is. <laughs> you know what he is. Take a guess what he is. <laughs> Furthermore, he pees in the pool. <laughs> or he pees in the pool. And he eats crawfish. Yeah. <laughs> it's just crap everywhere. His life is disgusting. <laughs> All right. Tattoos are trashy. Yes and no. Uh, I've got an idea for a tattoo. What's that? Oh no! I want some. I want on one of my my feet a little hot dog with legs, and he's running around. And it says hot dog in it. Oh yeah. But then I want a little dude that's like Agent Peely from Fortnite, mm. like the little little banana man, same mm. situation. Okay. And then I want my whole body to be the the the, the story of their friendship. <laughs> so you just look like a Yakuza member with a story of yeah but one half of me is like hot dog in it and the other half is like the banana man <laughs> and they're like best friends and you put your arms together and it's like <laughs> like they're like they're they're like, like hugging or something you should get your future gender reveal tattoo right here <laughs> oh, so your arms right on shut, the butt your 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 pants are down but whenever you open it up it's <laughs> you're hot dogging it freedom <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's like a <laughs> hot dogging it yeah, uh, our tattoo's trashy yeah what do you think I had another tattoo idea which is like you know how World War II planes have a uh, pit the girls? teeth oh. the teeth you know like the mouth oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. tiger mouth or please whatever, don't like. say what I think <laughs> and then like they have the number of kills like uh-huh. etched onto the side yeah I could do kind of something like that Oh, I got a place for it. Sounds horrible. Mm. <laughs> you know the the ceiling fan that you could buy as a kid yeah. that was a Corsair. Mm-hmm. It was an airplane, and then yes. the ceiling fan was the the propeller. You could you could put the wings. <laughs> you know, I did see someone who had um, gun holsters. <laughs> right? Yeah, or it was just guns that were like holstered right yeah. here, and it was like, wow, okay, <laughs> nice choice. Yeah, yeah. I mean. I don't know. I don't have any tattoos because I don't know what I want on my body forever. Yeah. I don't have something that I'm like, that's what I want. Yeah, I had the opportunity to get one and it I sat there for an hour and I was like, I don't you know were, what, I don't it, know what to get. You were in the tattoo yeah. shop, yeah. just like I'm not sure. Yeah. And he was like I was like, You got any ideas? He goes, How about a bag full of dicks? I go, Never mind. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> that's my well, cue. <laughs> not yeah. today. You know, mm, that's probably the best idea I've had, but <laughs> <laughs> I want to get another one, but I can't figure out what it is yet. Yeah. I'm going to get Connie Witter in the heart. <laughs> <laughs> like a... Okay. Like Great. A, like an arrow through it. Nice. Is that okay? Yeah. And what are you going to tell Mandy about that <laughs> tattoo? I'm going to tell her that it's just... You it's know? a joke. It sucks to suck. But Isn't like, it hilarious? Connie's it's been Jared's there my mom. whole life. <laughs> Be like, uh, it's not that funny. I'm gonna get it because of Jesus Ministries, like <laughs> on the banner. <laughs> nice. When are you gonna get that? I don't know. Get it soon. Yeah. <laughs> get, get, get it on soon. That. Get it right now. <laughs> get it right. Let's go. Let let's go right this. now. Get yeah, the camera. Let's yeah, let's <laughs> film it for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want the uh, because of Jesus globe tattooed onto your yeah. body somewhere. Yeah. Mm. Go into all the world. Yeah. It's a good idea. Yeah. I, I don't have any. Tattoos that I want right now. I want one something to do with my kids. What if you had yeah. a full on like spreadsheet from a marketing slick that you had to work on from like a company that you just were like in? an Excel spreadsheet? Yeah, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> just like a list of names and phone numbers of like people you had to call. Oh my god. Like a sales lead sheet. You just just <laughs> tattoo it on your arm. <laughs> just like yeah, just your whole hilarious. back is just <laughs> an Excel <laughs> spreadsheet. You, you gotta like stand in front of a mirror, and be like, call that yeah. guy. Okay. Yeah. I don't think the lines are straight enough. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the line straight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a bad lead. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Have put his can you name put it? Can back. you put that in the other column? <laughs> <laughs> so everyone can that doesn't you? work, you go get tattooed to mark out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh god, yeah, that'd be so funny. Hey, can you? uh <laughs> my whole back's a working spreadsheet with my sales leads. <laughs> the guy's like, man, you owe me so much money. <laughs> All right, last one of these cards. You should always tip 
<laughs> False. No way. If you sit down to If eat, I go to Chipotle and they're like, you want a tip? I'm like, I have not tipped for a Chipotle burrito for sure. 15 years. Or like if, you're, if there's a waiter and you're sitting down to eat, yes. If it's like to go, I might do... A dollar. A dollar. Yeah. Or two, depending on how much it is. Yeah. Right. Uh, DoorDash keeps trying to pressure me into tipping the kitchen. <laughs> like whenever you go pick up your food. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's crazy. Does it go to the kitchen? Or, I don't know. I don't know. Or but, is it just them like, here's more money to us? Yeah, but I don't know. But I always hit no as of right now because it's not been built into my culture right. of myself. So seems seems. Uh, Do you want to tip the butcher? I'll tell you what it is. is <laughs> tip the butcher? Is that it, it's actually letting these large dentist? corporations <laughs> off the hook for not paying their employees right. a living wage yeah. because now we, they're, we're subsidizing the pay of their employees. I don't like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, don't, I don't think tip culture is good. I think that it, that employees need to have. This is so union of me. It's so leftist of me. But I do think that the larger corporations should be on on the hook to provide for their employees. Yeah, absolutely. And not like you know. Yeah, when I worked at Steak and Shake, we made like three dollars an hour and relied on tips. So I agree with that. Like they need to have like a base pay, but yeah. also it was it was incentivized to do a great job because the better job you do, no, the more see, money you guys make. just said you got to tip twenty percent no matter what. You know what I mean? You guys just said that, so our culture is built question. in. I, I didn't, I didn't say you Nick have to take Nick agreed 20. with it, and I'm saying that like, no way. If somebody sucks and gets my food out cold, and there are times you know where I, mean? I will right. tip less than twenty. Yeah, if uh-huh. it's like if the service is bad. Yeah, mm-hmm. but if they're like, I'm, I have a drink and my food comes out in a relatively good amount of time, twenty percent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, I don't know. I don't know what to think about. But I also that. don't like I, I, servers I, being like, <laughs> "What's up, pals? I'm here to be your best friend." I'm like, right. no, 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 no. That is not. Like he what just I drops want. off your drink yeah. and he's like, "How's it taste?" Oh yeah. I mean, I just got this. Yeah. I'm not sure. I only spit it in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how does it taste? How's the clam chowder? <laughs> I mean, have you guys waited Aww. tables? Yeah, I've waited tables. Oh yeah, okay. I've definitely have definitely waited tables. Yeah. I feel like I honestly, at every point, someone should wait a table for yeah. like. A summer. It something. gives you a different perspective. Yeah. Because I've had to deal with some really terrible people. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I know what it's like. I, honestly, Sundays were the worst day. For, for so, waiting? Oh, yeah. Because people already tithed the church. I think I got one time mm. two tables in a row that give you those fake Oh it's my fake God. money. Tracks? It's fake money, but like on the inside, it's like a Bible. Verse. What like a here, terrible saved your soul. idea! Yeah. I've I've seen those before, and the first time I saw it, I was like, "This is just awful." Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure God would hate yeah. this because they're out there. Waiters are out there trying to make money, not get a right. church tip. I'm obviously working on a Sunday for a reason. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> if I didn't be money, if I didn't need money, I'd be in church. Right. I don't know, man. It's a. Uh, I think there should be a. Um, but there's another thing too, is that if you're doing a tip thing, is that that money is completely unregulated. There's people who are not tax paying taxes on their tips. Did we you don't talk ever, about that. Did we you ever pay taxes that. on your tips? Ever? You did All, report every, your tips? Oh, absolutely. Yes. You never yes. did that, Jared. Look at you. Look at you. You just spent it all on N64 games and like. Oh no, I think it was GameCube games. Yeah. Cheese whiz. I think it was the GameCube era. Mm. Yeah. No, I never paid taxes on my tips. Why would I do that? Um, Give somebody else my money now. <laughs> yeah. So all these people are made. I mean, you can. You, if you're, oh, I was working at in the Ross. So it was like a kind of a higher dollar restaurant, and Which I was. Uh, I worked at the one on uh, Brookside on or? the hill. Okay. Yeah. So um, back then, like, I was like probably two hundred dollars a night. Yeah. Nice. Maybe, yeah, and that was a long. That's like fifteen years ago, twelve years ago, something like that. So with that kind of money, if I was actually doing it full time, your boy's making real money, right. mm-hmm. like real money, right? And like, oh, well, I guess I made twelve thousand dollars this year. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> government's like, that's funny. Where'd you get that Lamborghini? <laughs> right. <laughs> I found Nowhere. it. Nowhere. I traded some sauce for it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> some Szechuan <laughs> sauce. Yeah. I got a guy on the inside of McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no way. I, I think the tip thing is just. I think the system is broke. Mm. Not not whether or not you should tip twenty percent. Yeah, the system sure. is broke because it's it's. And there's a, also now they're adding tipping to everything, and it's like 
Yeah. Stop it. Yeah, yeah, stop. Can't. I'm not tipping all these people. Instead, make the food at the cost it is. If, if someone's like, you know, when they like turn it and they go, there's one more question. If they yeah. say like, there's one more question. I'm instead like, of the like, answer's no. Yeah. <laughs> like and if they go, would you like to leave a tip? I'll be like, because you had the balls to ask me, I will give you a tip. But if yeah. it's like, there's just one more question there's just for one you. one more question here. You just got to press a couple buttons. <laughs> Yeah, do you mind and they're touching just like, this screen yeah, that every like, other person sure, who's been in this right, restaurant yeah. today has touched. <laughs> Will you just pick one of these buttons? Yeah, I'll pick the no, no. button. Where's yeah. the uh, oh there? Can it is. you show me where the no is on this <laughs> right here? Would you like to tip? No. No. <laughs> this is a Brahms. <laughs> this, this is a Brahms. This is a Brahms. <laughs> you don't tip at Brahms. Uh, Bro, I'll can. tell you, I love Brahms' food, but their coffee is the most ass wow. of anything I've ever really? drank in my life. I've, I've never, never had actually it. had Brahms don't, coffee. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. I typically it's a bad deal. Don't get coffee anywhere unless Starbucks is like the only place. Yeah, really? same here. I just get a cold brew from Starbucks. Basically, that's There's it. There's so much better coffee than Starbucks in Tulsa, but you got to be around those places to want to go to them. Yeah. Like downtown, there's a lot of places. Yeah, if we're going. near something that's like boutique, we'll definitely go. But mm. there's a Starbucks right by the house. But we just got like this nice espresso maker that we make. Oh, do you buy the Cafe Bustello, the yellow can? What kind of espresso do you get? Or the machine? Oh, the machine? It's like a Jura. It's some Italian thing. Mm, nice. Found mm. it on uh, Marketplace for a fraction of what it costs. You know what's funny to me? So I was watching this documentary on Tom Petty, and I love Tom Petty, but but like Tom Petty was on this quest. He was like, I want the best cup of coffee in the world. And so he's been to all these different places, eating at all these different diners, you know. One day he's at a, like a Shoney's or something, and holy crap, he has it. The best cup of coffee he's ever had. And he said to the, the waitress, this is the best cup of coffee I've ever had in my entire life. It's perfect. What is it? And she takes him to the back. And it's Maxwell House, hmm. the blue can. Hmm. He's like, no way. So he goes and he gets his Maxwell House, and it's still not perfect. He can't quite figure it out. And then he goes back, and he's like, well, how did you make it? And like, well, it's this machine. So he's like, I want to buy that machine and that coffee. So then he buys the machine and the coffee, and he goes about his business. This is for years. One day he's at a cafe, and he's like, this is the greatest cup of coffee. It's better than the first one. It's the best cup of coffee I've ever had. What is it? And they take him to the back, and it's Maxwell House in the same machine. <laughs> and he's like, how do you measure this out? And they're like, oh, we have this measuring thing. This is exactly the amount <laughs> oh of Maxwell goodness. House we put in this thing. So your boy just has Maxwell House now. Because <laughs> if it's good for Tom Petty, it's good for me. And I don't have the magic ratio or the machine, sure. but I'm. Uh, if I ever find out. But you out, could find one of those machines like secondhand pretty cheap. Yeah. You what, know what, what is the magic was? Maxwell House machine that Tom Petty has? I don't know. It's probably yeah. like a bun. Yeah, probably some or like, like some in, industrial. Yeah, commercial. But it's not just the machine. It's the, actually the ratio that he's looking sure. for. It's ratio and temperature. So it's crazy. Anyways, yeah, of all that, all that coffee snobbery, it's like Maxwell House. Maxwell yeah, there's some House. days that I just yeah. want a black cup of coffee. Yeah. You know, as long as it tastes decent. It's Maxwell House has something to it that is just so, um, it it doesn't have like a burnedness mm, to yeah. it that like the Starbucks stuff has. And it's it's uh, it's very smooth to me. I don't know what they do to it. And I'm sure it's like some terrible thing for your body. <laughs> like whatever it is, is yeah. like, like today we were, we were cooking on the stove and we we're using Pam. And I didn't have Pam in the house for a long time, but I was like, holy crap, this makes the eggs perfect. Oh, yeah. It's Pam. I don't know what's in Pam. I don't want to know. <laughs> Nobody tell me why that works makes your so eggs well. so much better. Huh? Yeah, yeah. They, they come out just like, they don't stick to the pan at all. They're easy to flip. You know what I mean? These, like somebody had figured this out a long time ago and I don't want to know what chemical it is that I'm ingesting. I just want my <laughs> eggs look some perfect. Some sort of like industrial greaser that they just throw into a can. <laughs> <laughs> some guy at the Vaseline factory yeah. is like throwing it in the pan. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's pool water mixed with Oh, them, I hope so. Know, all that. P goodness. You don't want to know, sir. <laughs> you, don't know. you don't want to How know. Do you make I pain? really want to know. Just don't ask that. Don't ask. No, you don't want to know. Just, you ever been just to keep an flipping your eggs and shut up. I've never been to all inclusive. Have you ever sat at the bar? <laughs> it's the water on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Pam is. Yeah. <laughs> God. 
Oh man, there's like a guy in a Pam outfit that like comes in here like with a ladle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he starts like, milling jugs. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> like, where, yes. That's the right consistency. Yes. Mm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Perfect. This would be great. <laughs> the eggs will never stick to the pan. <laughs> And you're just so hammered. You're like, what is a Pam guy here? <laughs> <laughs> He's probably going to make us eggs or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, all right. I want to make this episode a little less work for me, so I'm going to call it there. Okay. We just hit an hour. Nice. Pretty full of greatness, I think. One full mm. hour. But we do have a new sponsor. Maxwell House. Maxwell House yeah. and Tom Petty. Brought, yeah, Tom <laughs> Petty. Dead Tom Petty and yeah. Maxwell House. Thank I, don't you. Know if, I don't know if Pam's going to like or endorse or endorse. <laughs> Pam's yeah. like, you no. have to stop telling people that Pam is, yeah, Pam is pool water. <laughs> you have to stop that. Cease and desist. Cease and desist. <laughs> stop telling people our, our secret ingredients. <laughs> it doesn't matter what our secret ingredient is. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. All right. We, you signed an NDA and you started working here. <laughs> All right, that's it. See you next week, maybe. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>